We've talked a number of times about shortages when it comes to doctors and nurses, but what about when it comes to veterinarians? More than 60 local middle school students are getting their first taste of caring for injured animals, all thanks to others who used to be in their shoes. And all new at 530, News 6 anchor Julie Broughton shows us how students are getting results in our schools for the next generation. But look, you see this right here? A ballroom at the Hyatt Regency Orlando. Now grab the end of your suture. Transformed into a world of possibility. We're doing CPR, um, and so we're teaching the kids how to do compressions on the animals, how to give breath. We're playing Lady Gaga so they stay on beat. Giving these middle school students a glimpse of what a career in veterinary medicine is like. Or you can find other different pathways that you still love working with animals, but maybe you don't want to do this. And that's okay. But this experience today is what is allowing you to figure out your space and where you want to be. Uh, so today we're um, going to different stations and we're learning about different parts and different roles of veterinarians and how like they grow and how they started and where they are right now. Needle holder in the center, loop around. Each immersive experience led by diverse professionals, all volunteers. Being a pre-vet student, I did not have the representation at all to like tell me that this is something that I could do. Um, and I had always wanted to be a vet, but it's really hard when you don't see any vets that look like you. And so having an event like this for kids who want to do something in this field and to see all of us, um, especially, um, you know, is really important just to have that representation. What has this experience today taught you or maybe opened your eyes to about the potential of future careers? I feel like how there's more than one thing in the medical fields and how like being a veterinarian you don't just have to be one thing you're able to kind of like have a little bit of each and figure out which one you want to do. Sessions like this are so important that's because when it comes to diversity in veterinary medicine only about two percent of doctors are black and that number goes even lower when we're talking about veterinary surgeons. I'll be honest this is personal for me because not only am I a veterinarian, not only am I a veterinary surgeon, but it's personal for me because when I was on this pathway, I never had anybody that would come to me at age 6th grade through 10th grade to introduce me to veterinary medicine. And so the idea that someone like me could become a veterinarian or that the profession would be welcoming to somebody like me is um, a, sort of a testament of hope and promise. Nice job. Julie Broughton. Nice job. This is great. Getting results. Right, New six. Man, the earlier you can get a kid sort of angling mm -hmm. toward that profession, mm -hmm. especially one that's hard to do like that, the better. It is that, such a tough job, and there is a huge shortage of veterinarians. Yeah. So definitely uh, many career options available if that's you right. choose that if you route. you can get through yes. all that school.